is finally making the alien spaceship show up. Um, at the moment, just one, but we're going to make more eventually. And it's going to then move down the screen. So this is where we were last time, where we had our menu starting off at the beginning. And then when we press start, our spaceship shows up and we can move it back and forth. And we can shoot from it as well. So today what we're going to do, as I said, is add a single alien in, but eventually we're going to add more than one alien in. So to start off with, what we need to do is actually get the um, sprite for our alien and make sure we have access to it. So we're going to create and go get that alien PNG, which looks like this right here. And we're going to add a key to it that is called alien. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just like missiles, since we're creating several of those, we actually created a group for them. So we're going to do the exact same thing for the aliens as well. So this is going to be a group of aliens, not a group of missiles. Now we do need to, don't forget to change the name, or it's not going to work right. In group and we do need to take this physics out because it turns out it actually won't work properly the way we're going to code it if we don't have that. Um, to start off the game it would be nice if a single alien started to come at us so I'm actually going to add this dot and we're going to create a function called create alien. Next. So I'm going to call this function, which clearly, hopefully, creates a single alien. And it turns out we're going to be wanting to create aliens in different parts of our code. So we don't really want to just do it once and create. Several times we're going to need to have that same code happen. So that's a really good opportunity to um, create a function. So we're going to go to the very top of our code here. And the very inside our class, the very first thing, even before our constructor, what we're going to do is we're going to put this um, function call. So this is the name of our function. And we need to open up and close our little curly braces. And then we can simply put that on the next line. Okay, so once we have our function call, the next thing we need to do is actually create a variable that um, references our alien and so we can get access to it and do something with it, which is going to be adding it to that group. So just like we've done in the past, we're going to create a variable, in this case a constant, because it's not going to change once we create it, called an alien for a single one. And here's where we're going to add the physics for that sprite in. And for right now, we're just going to place it at 100, 100. And we're going to use that alien um, key. So this should place it somewhere over here once we have it. So once we have that variable, then just like we did last time, we can go this dot alien group and we can add it in. And what are we adding in? We're adding in an alien. So that should make a single alien show up somewhere over there on our screen in the top left-hand corner. And there's our little alien. And it has a little uh, purple box around it because we've added physics to it, so that's good. So once we have the alien showing up, um, it would be nice that it didn't always show up in the exact same X location. Um, the Y location is actually, we're going to eventually make it minus 100 um, so that it shows up off our screen and then moves down. But we do want it to randomly show up in different locations here. So to do that, we're gonna use our random number generator and we're going to generate a random x location for it. 
So here's the code that generates our random x location. And the way it works is we have our variable alien x location, and that's going to be our new x location port. And it just randomly chooses a number between 1 and 1920, which is the width of our screen. So it should show up in different locations. So if we just run that a couple of times, we should see that the alien spaceship shows up in a different spot each time we run it now. So there it is there, and it moved over slightly. And if we run it again, hopefully it's in a drastically different location. There you go, now it's way over there. So that is working, and our alien spaceship is showing up in different locations. Um, the next thing that we would like to do is actually add a velocity to our alien so that it's going to move, to begin with, straight down. So we can say an alien dot body, because for physics, and we're going to add a velocity, make sure you spell it correctly, in the y location, and a nice value to add is 200. So wherever it shows up in the x location, it should now come downwards. There we go, just took a little while to start up. And there it is, and you can see that it's moving down slightly. And this little green arrow is the current downward velocity. So that's what's happening there. So that's our y velocity, but it would be um, really nice if it didn't move straight down, but it moves sort of either in a different random x and y, or sorry, x location, like sometimes moving sideways, other times moving the other way. So we can do that just like we did last time. Um, we can use random numbers. We're going to use a couple different ones this time. So our first one we're using left here because I am actually going to change this x velocity. Oh, that's... I used x location. Yeah, that was right. So x velocity here. So the x-velocity, I'm just picking a number between 1 and 50, and then I'm actually changing it to this is picking a number either 1 or minus 1, and I'm multiplying that by the original value, and what that will do is half the time it'll be going to the left, the other half of the time it'll be going to the right. So that should be good to make our alien move in different directions. And most of this is the same, so we should be able to copy that. So this isn't the x location, it's the y location, and it is alien x velocity. So that should make the alien spaceship move in different directions for us now. There we go. So now it's moving downwards into this direction. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change this y value to minus y so that it actually starts off the screen next time, which is what we're looking for. Now when we start again, there we go. You can see it's in a different location and it's um, going slightly not as far um, to the left anymore. So these aliens, you'll notice they also start slow and then speed up, which is kind of what we're looking for. And this will help um, make our game more fun. So that's how we get a single alien to show up. Um, once it falls off the bottom of the screen, next time we're going to make it reappear at the top. So we'll have to write the code for that next time.